A Minnesota state senator says officials are asking doctors to fill out death certificates with diagnosis of COVID-19, whether the person died of it or not. Valley News Team's Callie Hubbard talked to the lawmaker today, who says fear may be coming into play. Minnesota Senator and Dr. Scott Jensen says he received a seven-page document from the Minnesota Department of Health on how doctors should go about filling out a cause of death certificate. The letter from the Minnesota Department of Health gives advice to physicians, physician assistants, and others who certify deaths. The doctor says the letter takes you to a CDC website that has recommendations on how to include COVID-19 as a diagnosis for someone who was never tested for COVID-19. Say I have a nursing home patient who's frail and 88 years old and comes down with a cough and, and a fever and after three days ends up um, passing away from pneumonia. I'm not going to put influenza on that death certificate. So I doubt that I would be inclined to put COVID-19. Dr. Jensen says each state's reported death numbers are making a lot of people fearful, adding that getting the number right is critical, especially during a pandemic. I worry that sometimes we're so darn interested in just jazzing up the fear factor that sometimes people's ability to think for themselves is paralyzed if they're frightened enough. One of the scenarios listed under the CDC guidance for certifying deaths due to coronavirus says, although no testing was done, the coroner determined that the likely underlying cause of death was COVID-19 given the patient's symptoms and exposure to an infected individual. So is the Minnesota state data reliable? I don't think I have any position to the question that per se. I know that I have talked with nursing staff who have been involved with people who have passed away that had either living wills or were on hospice care. In some of those situations, uh, I've been led to believe that there may have been a COVID-19 diagnosis included on the death certificate document without having had a COVID-19 confirmed laboratory test, but I don't have any way to confirm that myself. He says the public isn't stupid, and if you start messing with numbers, you're going to wish you didn't. In the FM area, Callie Hubbard, Valley News. I think Live. it's critically important. Can you repeat what you just said, please? Well, last Friday, I received a seven-page document that sort of told me that if I had an 86-year-old patient that had pneumonia but was never tested for COVID-19, but sometime after she came down with pneumonia, we learned that she had been exposed to her son who had no symptoms, but later on was identified with COVID-19, that it would be appropriate to diagnose on the death certificate COVID-19. Now, we've not done that. If someone has the pneumonia after, and, and it's in the middle of a flu epidemic, and I don't have a test on influenza, I don't diagnose influenza on the death certificate. I will say uh, this elderly patient Sir. died of pneumonia. I don't mean to interrupt you, but I, I, my heart is sinking right now as you're telling me this. You're, you're a doctor. Why in the world would they be sending you out information to fill out death certificates, whether the person's been diagnosed with COVID-19 or not, but then to say in the death certificate this person's death was caused by COVID-19? That, that does not sound right to me. I went to the person in our office who does most of the death certificates over the last you know, 10, 20 years, and I said, does this sound right? I had her look at the documents that I printed it off, and she said, well, we've always been told that you always put down just facts. You don't put down any probabilities. You don't put any presumptions down. It's just what you know. And so this is concerning, and, and it actually gets to your point, Chris. When we start talking about the data that goes into the modeling, we have to ask ourselves a question. Are we being forthright? Are we sharing with the public? Minnesota, North Dakota, we don't need to be having it sugar-coated. We want to know but, what's going into your modeling. So with that being said, why would they want to skew the number of deaths due to COVID-19? Well, fear is a great way to control people. And fear is a great way to control people. And fear is a great way to control people. And I worry about that. I worry that sometimes we're so darn interested in just jazzing up the fear factor